So with the recent crop of Ubuntu based distributions for the Ubuntu 15.10 release cycle, there is a lot to love with KDE Plasma Desktop and its implementation in Kubuntu 15.10. So what's this distribution got to offer in the landscape of Ubuntu releases? Well, let's find out in my video review of Kubuntu 15.10. So honestly, the big story with Kubuntu 15.10 is the KDE Plasma Desktop 5.4. Now I'm gonna be straight up and honest and say that this isn't going to be a very lengthy review at all because if you have seen my uh, KDE Plasma 5 review, then you'll be able to see a lot of the features and a lot of the things that I love about Kubuntu uh, because it's very much a straight up vanilla release of Plasma Desktop 5.4 and also the KDE application stack 15.08. Now, if you don't know what any of that means, that's fine. There'll be links in the description below for that review, but let's talk about Kubuntu specifically. So unlike Ubuntu, Kubuntu really gets the Ubuntu part out of the way of, uh, of what this distribution represents. Um, and it really just lets users enjoy KDE in the best possible way. And unfortunately, this release in some ways could mark the end of the road for the officially uh, canonical endorsed Kubuntu. Uh, but thankfully, this release, in my opinion, is a bit of a swan song because it offers the best that KDE can currently offer to its users without letting awkward open source politics or anything like that get in the way. And it really gives a lot of the features that I've been waiting for uh, in the Ubuntu proper release. For an example, let's look at the system settings manager. In system settings, you can control everything about your system. It doesn't matter whether it's the system itself or whether it's your personal user account. You can customize nearly everything from this one unified panel. And I'm not saying that hasn't been done already in other distributions. What I'm saying is that Plasma Desktop 5.4 and the Kubuntu version that is very much a vanilla representation of KDE does this in such a way where you feel like they are one in the same. You don't feel like you're using a KDE, a KDE desktop environment stitched on top of another distribution. They're very much intertwined. And I think that's what I love about it. It gets the Ubuntu out of the way and just lets you enjoy KDE. In terms of features that have been developed in, into the KDE desktop that, that we really haven't seen developed into the Unity desktop are things like online accounts. If you've seen my Ubuntu 15.10 review, I had a bit of a gripe about the fact that the online accounts weren't as well integrated as what the feature promised to be uh, in, in the future. And I guess over the last couple of years, I was getting a bit upset that the, this particular feature had stagnated. Well, here in KDE Plasma 5, it has not stagnated at all. It's gotten quite good. Not only does it have more account support, but it also has uh, really helpful things for people that are going to be using this distribution, especially in a workspace with things like Office 365 and Link Chat built right in here to the uh, into the Telegram instant messaging client. I think that's amazing. Uh, and also the fact that when you enter these account details, they actually pull in things like your chat accounts, they pull in your email account into Kmail. They really, it's a very holistic solution that you'd come to expect from a modern operating system. Another really good one is file manager customizations. Plasma Desktop, while it has simplified its overall user interface of something as simple as the file manager, they still give the user plenty of options in terms of how they want to organize the, the file manager, how they want to sort their files, and how they want to customize the file manager to make it easier to find the stuff that they're looking for. And I think all of these things adding together really give the Kubuntu Desktop a really great user experience. Overall, the user interface is incredibly user-friendly, but at the same time, it gives plenty of power. It's very modern, yet it's very customizable, and it's not really something you can say about a lot of other user interfaces. Also, a feature like KDE Connect, where you can connect your Android smartphone to your desktop so that you can actually see your notifications on your desktop is also something that is just a sweet feature to have and a really good feature to demo to people that are looking at Kubuntu as an option. 
and even a feature that I am personally a big fan of, like the search and launch keyboard functionality, as well as the search and launch new user interface, a bit like a dash or a full screen launcher, that's really great for touch screens and for smaller screen devices. All of these are features that Ubuntu has tried to implement in their Unity desktop, but not quite gotten there. The reason I'm comparing it to Ubuntu is because Kubuntu as a distribution has been very much tied to Canonical's release. It's been an official partner of the Canonical release cycle for quite a while now. And with the stepping down of one of the lead developers, uh, Jonathan Riddle from the Kubuntu release cycle, there could be changes in the wind with what Kubuntu represents and what, how it's going to be released in the future. But what I'm really happy to say is that Kubuntu 15.10 with its Plasma 5.4 desktop is a very polished release and you can hardly tell that you are using an Ubuntu based distribution apart from the pseudo apt getting and all of that sort of stuff. Hardware compatibility is excellent. Overall, it's a quality stack of software on top of a very efficient hardware base. And I think that's what makes Kubuntu so special. Overall, I think KDE Plasma Desktop knows what it wants to be and it's proving to users that it knows how to get there. The question for me is whether Kubuntu as an open source project should remain tied to Canonical's Ubuntu that wants to be something very different entirely or whether it should just become its own beast altogether.